Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and I can't wait for you to watch my long-term sub vlogs this week. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I didn't share <laughs> Monday or Tuesday because I forgot my camera at home. But it is Wednesday and this week has been going um, good slash they need lots of reminders. They're very chatty. And I feel like I'm getting sick again, which stinks a lot. I'm very upset that I might be getting sick again. Um, you can see by my dry lips, my throat is a little bit achy today and everything like that. So it kind of stinks. But anywho, I wanted to share a couple of the things that we are doing this week and just kind of update you guys on what's going on. So to start this week, I did a morning message about the body and just kind of really fun things, um, talking about it just to get them in the idea. We started a little bit of data without them even knowing. We did a tally chart on if they've broken a bone before. So that was just kind of a fun way to get them into the body as well as data this week since those are the two main things we are focusing on is the body and data and then part of this day we also were talking about points of view because i wanted them to practice writing from a different um, or from the first person point of view and a different perspective in the in their book report so we just did a practice one it's totally made up I just drew a couple sticks and the kids gave a sentence for me to write we had to decide on a main character and everything like that but we did it from first person and that was just a fun introduction into our final project for writers workshop which will be a narrative from the first person point of view from the perspective of a body part and they'll have to decide that next week but for right now um, we're just kind of going like slowly introducing it without officially saying that that's what it's for then yesterday Tuesday um, I talked a little bit about germs so part, one of the standards that we have to cover is about germs and about keeping your body healthy and everything like that so in order to cover that standard we are talking about germs specifically this week and then at the bottom we were talking about how can we or yeah how can we prevent the spread of germs so just talking about how you can kind of keep yourself safe we watched a video on how to cover your cough and your sneeze and just different ways that germs are spread and how we can keep our bodies safe and keep others safe as well then part of tuesday i said we were talking about data or data depends i guess on how you say it um so i just said what is data we talked about some kind of small definitions of it and then i was asking them what are some charts and graphs that we use to show our data and we talked about a couple of them i didn't go into a ton of detail because they talk a lot about data and graphs and stuff in second grade and I believe third grade as well. So I didn't want to go too much into it. I have a good feeling that they knew a lot about this already, but we did go into it a little bit and just talk about what each of these are used for and kind of why they're important. And then we get into today. So today uh, I just wanted to cover more on data and um, just give them a little bit more of a definition and kind of like what how we use it and then I said we we're gonna make a bar graph so I just asked them what their favorite color is and they did a little tally chart here we actually drew this during morning meeting so this wasn't up there when they were doing it and then I asked them which graph or chart would be used to show this data so which one would make the most sense why would we use that and or why wouldn't we use the other three is kind of my question right down here. So most of them said bar graph, which is great. That's how I had hoped they would respond. And then 
but we also kind of talked about it too. I mean, if they did say pie chart or line graph, you know, why did they say that? What does a line graph show? Oh, well, that shows change over time and things like that. And then over here um, during morning meeting, I graphed this and we just kind of talked about what that graph shows and why it's important and how it helps us. And we also talked a little bit about, well, yeah, maybe we could use a pie chart, but why wouldn't we or what would it show and things like that. So that was all of the things we've done. Um, today we're talking about mean, median, and mode and range. So I will be making a, another one for that, but for now I don't have anything there yet. So that is kind of all the things I've written this week in terms of morning meeting type of things and then informational sheets. One source of classroom management is giving rewards for things. So I decided to give them the option of being able to earn a game after writer's workshop. We tend to have a little bit of time. So um, I wanted to give that to them. First of all, I like playing games. And second of all, uh, it's just been kind of tough. There's some in here who like to talk a lot and it gets to be very disruptive. So I wanted to come up with a system where I can kind of give rewards and take away rewards um, based on how they are doing. I give I gave a lot of input from the students. Um, I kind of wrote most of this stuff on kind of what I expect, but all of this right here was kind of the student's choice. So we are going to spell out a word and then they're going to try to earn it daily, but if they can't earn it in a day, then they will try to earn it the next day. Um, I said that it's only going to be, the words themselves are only during our morning meeting specialist readers workshop and writers workshop time because we're going to do it at the end of writers workshop. So I specifically gave some time, so you can see I put game here. I gave some time, 14 minutes because today would be um, 13, you can see so far at least, if they can earn that. And um, again, this was like most of them, like their ideas and coming up with this. I really wanted to give them a lot of input um, and that makes them more, more feeling more responsible for it than just me coming up with something and telling them that's the way it is. So these are kind of the little ways. If you guys do have any suggestions, that would be awesome. I'm just kind of having a hard time with the classroom management being a sub and stuff so this was kind of my um little way out of it plus i do love to play games as well so i mean it's kind of nice that this this gives them the option and it kind of makes me more accountable for trying to include a game as well because i get tired of seeing the kids like sitting all day and i know they're tired of it too so that can be kind of tough for them and then I just wanted to share kind of my little plan for the week. So um, we have a tornado drill tomorrow. On Friday we have Chromebooks. So I'm going to try to do a, a bunch of math review for Cahoots because we have MCA testing um, next week. And then I also wanted to do an escape room type of thing. And then Jeopardy is really fun as well. So. Those are a couple things I haven't really planned out next week yet. I mean, it's only Wednesday today, so I do have some time, but um, I'm still kind of trying to think about what I'm doing next week. And then, you know, I haven't even written out anything for the next week. So that's kind of what's going on. Um, so today I'm going to be reading this book called Your Body Battles a Cold. Again, just talk about germs and how to keep your body safe and healthy and then writers workshop we are working on writing our stories so those are due on Friday like I said um, we're doing mean median mode and range for math so I'm just gonna do five numbers and we're gonna talk about it and then they have a packet that they're working on a data packet it just has a bunch of examples of how to read different um, charts and graphs 
and then they have daily homework of getting their planner signed, reading 30 minutes, and handwriting. So I'm going to leave it there. I will talk to you guys probably more tomorrow and just kind of share some of the other fun things going on. So that is it for today. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, I didn't talk yesterday just because there wasn't really anything new to share. And yeah. <laughs> um, so yesterday the kids turned in these data packets. So basically they are just looking at different data. That's one of the last standards for fourth grade math is looking at data so we were just practicing learning how to read um, a graph and kind of fill in the information about it and um, so yeah we did different things like that I also decided to try something else out with the kids so I'll show you guys that so I wasn't sure exactly how they would react to go noodle just <laughs> I don't know, some of these kids just kind of seem like they are kind of too cool for go noodle. And because we're doing the human body, I just decided to try out doing bones, bones, bones on, sorry about that, on go noodle because it talks about the different bones in the body and it tells you how many bones are in the body and I just thought it would be a really good one. And they really liked it, so the last few mornings, well yesterday morning and then today, we just started doing that um, just as something for fun and I've chosen a couple students to choose different go noodles if you sorry uh, if you don't know what go noodle is um, it's basically just a site that is free and they have a bunch of different videos you can choose by category or channels you can see there's lots of different channels um, most of them are under five minutes other than this indoor recess which is meant to give lots of different activities in the span of how long your recess would usually be. Um, Cuckoo Kangaroo is one of my favorite channels and they just have, you can see, two or three minute videos that are really fun and the kids tend to really enjoy them. We just did Milkshake and it's just a fun one to get the kids talking and repeating the and doing the actions and things like that so it's just really fun and I think they really enjoy it and I really enjoy it and it gives a smile in the morning to all of our faces. So here's kind of the rough plan that I'm doing. I have each of the different three different sections of the day just on post-its just kind of roughly of what I'm doing. So readers workshop is first and we have a little time for snack, but it's not that long. We usually use the bathroom and have a snack. Then I'm going to do this read aloud, the immune system, because it's a nonfiction book, we can kind of go into whatever we want. So I might just ask the students kind of what they would like to read about and let them kind of choose what we will read about for the immune system to cover the standard of the body and kind of how, how to keep your body healthy. For writer's workshop, I'm just going to do a quick check-in, put them into partners, and then they wrote some stories from a different perspective from their book report. So they're going to read those stories to a classmate, and then I left a little bit of time to pull some sticks and have the students read to the whole class. Um, we've been trying to earn games, so if they do earn the game today, which I told you guys about that, um, today our word is Frye. I gave the directions of kind of how they can earn it. They get automatic 15 minutes for the day, but they're already down to 11, which is kind of too bad. I hope they can earn it because I do think it's kind of fun and it's nice for them to be able to do that. But, you know, this might be one of the days that they don't earn it. So if that's the case um, with this game, I'll just have them continue to share instead of doing the game for math. There's kind of um, no specific plan. We have Chromebooks on Friday, but there are no IXL lessons, which is another site um, 
that you can go on for math lessons that the kids can practice different standards. And so I just kind of made my own kind of things for the day. So they have something called $100 words, which I think is super cool. So, let's so in order to get $100 words, um, the students have to figure out what words can form $100. So if you think about it, each letter is a number. So A would be one and then B would be two. And then they have to come up with words that would be 100. So they have a few on here. They try to look for different ones to see if they can come up with words that would equal to 100. And so far, this is what they have. And um, it's just kind of a fun way. So I was going to see if there's any new ones to add to our list on here. Anywho, back to talking quick. Then we are going to do the pulse, um, taking our pulses. And that's going to be part of our data. So I'm going to read a little bit from what is my pulse and just kind of talk about um, what is the pulse, kind of why it's important, and then we're gonna talk about how we take a pulse. And I found a little video on here, and it's how to take a pulse. It is a nurse who shows how to take the pulse and kind of talks about um, all of that stuff. So it's kind of cool that it comes from a nurse as well and can just kind of talk about all of that stuff. And then I printed some sheets and it just has student's name. And then we're gonna take two trials for resting pulse. We're going to average out our resting pulse. And then um, we're gonna do a pulse after a minute of exercise. Then we're gonna write down a couple different students in the class and what their pulse was and then we are going to graph it. So I thought this was a great way to collect data and um, organize data and then graph the data as well. So I think that will be fun. And then lastly, they have MCA testing for math. So I decided to find a Kahoot Kahoot is just a site where they have little games on there. Um, they're kind of quiz type games. And because we have the Chromebooks today, I decided this would be something really fun that we can do as a class and um, just do some fourth grade math review. So I thought that would be really, really fun. Um, otherwise, I just asked the students today to get them prepared for our writing assignment. I just asked them what their favorite body part is just to get their minds in that um, kind of mindset and we lastly to finish off we are reading this book called the Westing game and it's a little bit confusing I think it's meant to be a mystery I don't really know that much about it I didn't really get a like I didn't get to choose it so I decided to go ahead and as we're reading we're going to write down information about the different people and where they live excuse me and everything like that so, so oh gosh come on don't be shaky <laughs> um so yeah that is what our week kind of looked like um nothing too crazy or exciting i'm still having some troubles with the classroom management that's been kind of tough for me and I'm just trying to figure out ways that would be best to kind of handle that. I'm trying the game thing and sometimes it works, but I, I've noticed it really hasn't been working that well, but I might try it a little bit longer and just kind of see how it goes. Um, otherwise, I'm, I'm kind of out of ideas. I don't, maybe I should just start kind of hammering down and having, you know, calling parents or something. I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss right now because I don't know so anywho um, I also emailed the principal from the school that I did my other long-term sub at and asked her to make a updated um, letter of recommendation for me as well as emailing the principal here and asking her as well I know it's only my second week which I stated to her but 
I wanted to get it out there sooner rather than later um, and I just said I wanted to put it on her radar for the next four weeks that I'm here and invited her to come observe if she wants to or needs to so I think that was a good idea kind of get it on on her radar early and kind of give her a chance to think about it and all of that so I'm gonna sign off for the week I have my triathlon this weekend which I'm super excited about I'm kind of nervous but it'll be really fun and um, planning for next week so I have some fun things that I'm looking forward to showing you guys for next week so I will talk to you guys next week I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I'll see you next week okay <laughs> bye guys <laughs>